This is Nate Eckerson, creator of the Stop Motion Explosion Animation Kit, and today I'm going to show you how to use Frame by Frame. Frame by Frame is an application that's available for Mac computers, and it's a simple but effective stop motion animation program, a frame grabber. Now, when you start up uh, Frame by Frame, the first thing you're going to want to do is switch to the camera that you're going to be using to animate. Uh, most Macs have a built-in camera, especially if you're using a laptop. So if you see here, I've selected in the camera settings uh, the webcam that we're going to be animating with. Now if you look at the frame-by-frame -frame interface, you'll see there's two screens here. One screen is used for previewing your animation. The other one is used to show the live video feed from the camera. So if you want to capture a frame in frame by frame, the first thing you do is after you've set up your character, you click the camera button here and you'll hear a shutter sound. And uh, if you move your character slightly, you'll see that the onion skidding effect is already activated. You can adjust the amount of onion skinning uh, by moving the slider down here on the right. If you move it towards the camera, you'll see the live frame. If you move it towards the film strip, you'll see the last frame that you just captured. So you can continue grabbing frames. I'm not going to do anything complex with this animation. If you end up capturing a frame that you don't like, you click it down here and you click the scissors button. That will delete the frame and you continue grabbing frames uh, as many as you like. When you're done, you click File export and type in a name for your film and click export you'll have a list of codecs that you can choose I would recommend if you're going to be uploading your video to YouTube click the H.264 codec and then click the high quality option click OK and your film will export. That's all there is to using frame by frame. If you explore the program a little more you'll probably find some features that I haven't found in this short tutorial. If you'd like more information about our stop motion animation kit you can visit stopmotionexplosion.com.